based. Uh, I didn't know anything about vegan or vegetarian except they were a subculture, very angry soapbox type of people, preachy all the time. My friend tried to get me to be a vegan. And, and so that's where I get back to this point. Um, why I don't want to carry the label of, of a vegan is because if you think about it, we, we shouldn't have to have a label. No one should have a label. Just like someone calling themselves gay or not gay or racist or not racist. You're an asshole. That's it. You're an asshole. That's, that's all you are. I mean, I don't care if you forgive my language. I'm talking to myself here because I'm going to watch it later and up to the public to take it or not. But over the over my time, uh, 2004, my journey, I'm not going to lie. I opened that book, the Bible, over and over again, even before then with my struggle with alcoholism and so forth. And I found every kind of possibility to, to justify me stopping drinking, me um, learning a little bit more of what addiction was to that extent. I read a good book called Victory of the Dark Darkness and related anything that is an addiction is something that keeps you away from God. That's That was the idea. For myself, my God was my, my inside. God is inside me, as in all of you, all of life. So anything that obstructs that is it a drug? Is a drug? Is an addiction? Is an obstruction? Uh, be it a love, an interest, whatever. So, with that being said, I took it upon myself to learn how to remove addictions, obstacles, obstructions. Um, not because I want to be spiritual and fighty fighty or nothing like that. I, I don't know. I don't want to be that. Same thing with this vegan thing. Uh, why I'm removing myself from the vegan mailing list or vegan groups is it's so misunderstood and. Um, I used to fight a lot. I used to be very physically um, into fighting. I, it was a craving I had. I always wanted to fight, drink, and fight, drink, and fight. Um, one of the things I learned in my experience of being a young kid and a little boy uh, up until uh, 2002 was one of my last fights. was that I allowed people to take control of myself. I loved circumstances take control of me versus me take control of circumstances, or at least my lens. Um, what I found that in all the fighting I've done is that no matter how justified a reason, I used to talk a lot of crap, I probably still do, I know I do, but I provoke. And I'd always be the victim in the fight. I'd never throw a punch. I would say the things, I would act a certain way, get them to punch first, and then I would take them down. Uh, eventually I thought, I mean, I used that, and I didn't think about what I was doing. And I'm sure I did that to my, my wife. I was previously in marriage, and in relationships as well, and friendships. You know, I have, I've always wanted to fight. I, I don't know if it's, I don't, I don't want to say it's right. I don't. Um, but definitely disturb. Disturb the comforted and comfort the disturbed. I heard that expression once. So what I'll say is what I found out is that the, the person in control of the fighting, just like the kid in school who will tell me, hey, he called your mom a bitch or something bad, she's fat. And, and as a kid, I have to go fight the kid who said it, even though the kid probably didn't say it. And so I found out over time, or at least I, I was realizing that over time, there's a lot of power in provoking, manipulating, and being the, uh, the old lord, the lord of war, whatever word you want to call it, also known as a peacemaker. We Americans, do this all the time. I'm sure other countries, other people, other parties do it. They they have conflicts between each other. So the vegan to me is exactly that. They are the hero. They're the they're the peacemaker. They're the person who, just like recently, uh, you know, I'm learning things I don't want to learn. I mean, Mother Teresa, you know, she's passed away. Maybe she did wonderful things. I'm sure she did. you know, for what she did, but when I find out that she spoke in defense of, of, of men, of men of the cloth, of priests, whatever, not just accused, but straight up charged and everything of child sex acts. And then I start looking, digging deeper and stuff, and yeah, she was passionate in what she did, but their level of care, it was less about caring, less about doing something, resulting, and more about, look, these are poor people, I'm helping them, I'm sacrificing, and you know, you're using a victim to, 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 Heroic, heroicize yourself.